Welcome to Pure Octane Garage. We bring you detailing information and other automotive goodness. Please consider liking. And please consider subscribing, it's free. That's right, and if you wanna know when we put new videos, ring that notification bell. Yeah, and the bell will let you know. Share with your friends too. The bell will let you know, I like that. Hmm. Check out merch. Yeah, we got some awesome merch, and we appreciate people who buy the merch because it really does help. That's right, that helps us get paid a little bit. Yeah, a little bit to buy product. You got um, it. Just barely covers that. Well, actually, <laughs> Almost. <laughs> but thank you, thank you, thank you, thank we you. We won't elaborate our problems here. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, we got a quick tip. Quick tip today. We're gonna show you what we do, because I'm sure you've seen our test panels. We've got right. two test hoods that we use all the different products on, but each time before we use said test hood, we, we strip off any added protection. Yeah, because you don't wanna be built. <laughs> Wouldn't be a very good video if we just kept building on top of that and it'd be a mess. And, and it wouldn't be fair to the products. Not at all. Right. So we we strip um, all the the protection we had put on previously. And sometimes it's a little more work than other times. Depends yes. on what it is. Depending <laughs> on the product, exactly. Right. So um, what we use is this is pretty much our trio. Yeah. Uh, of what we use, we all do also use. Uh, we don't have it up here because it wouldn't really be a visual sense, but that. You know, we do the 50-50 isopropyl alcohol mm -hmm. mixture, kind of as a final wipe before the we apply anything. The final wipe. Which is very similar to what this product is here. The Hydrosilex Rewind um, is a, you know, wax and grease remover. Yep. Um, they actually sell it that way. They say to use this, then apply their ceramic spray coating. Um, actually works really well. Yep. Removing so, things, so we're, we're kind of moving backwards. backwards here. So we start out obviously by washing the hood with a with a good good wash a yeah. good wash that doesn't have anything in it base soap um, for our hood purposes we just use the basic car soap yeah right N no waxes or anything right in it. now for your vehicle um, as a better option is using a, what we've seen strip wash um, re redo wash re reload wash I can't remember there's a lot of names for a lot of them Th there's there's different brands of yeah. a good strip wash and. The benefit of those versus using some sort of dish soap. Yeah. <laughs> Which can you can. Yeah. Um, but the benefit of the strip washes is generally they don't dry out your 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 trims and the, the rubber the seals. Rubber seals. That. Yeah. Because uh, a dish soap will extract the um, oils and such from right. from those. Uh, they work, but <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. So may as well if you're gonna go to all the trouble with all this process of putting on your favorite coating or spray sealing or whatever. Um, just use the right. Just use the soap that doesn't make it harder. Yeah, use a good strip wash. They'll yeah. they'll remove any old product without drying out the trim and such. Right. Um, but back to test hoods. Since it's the test hood, and we're not worried about all that stuff, we kind of go a little more aggressive. Yeah. Um, to get everything off, like you don't have to do this to your vehicle by all means. This is more for vehicle, right? Yeah. This 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 is okay. This this is good here. We'll set These, that aside. But here, I mean, iron remover. Hey, yeah, you've all seen you can use the iron remover on a vehicle if you want. But um, we, you know, to remove product, you don't really need to do that. <laughs> yeah. So we started for a while. We were using this a lot, um, and then most recently we switched over to the uh, Black Magic Bleach White tire cleaner tends to remove it pretty quickly and it removes <laughs> yeah. um we have yet to try this on a real heavy duty ceramic coating right, it's been more waxes and uh, light it's, sealants yeah, yeah yeah and it strips a it, it, it strips it right off one and, shot and done yeah and we'll show you yeah we're gonna you get show to you see guys. it in we'll action these. so again uh for our test hoods we wash we we coat it down with this let it sit for what maybe 30 and seconds kind of wipe it in Kind of, you know, wash it wash it around. Yeah, yeah. kind of wash with it. Yeah, and then uh, spray it off. Uh, dry the panel, and then do a final alcohol wipe. Alcohol wipe. Yep. And that's and then it's usually ready to go. And then of oh. course for uh, uh, your vehicle that you want to take care of and, and protect, I would uh, use a good uh, again uh, a good strip wash that won't dry out any of the trim or rubber seals. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it'll remove old product, and then of course a good dry, and then and then a you know a wipe down with a product like Rewind. Yep, with Rewind, and uh, another way to remove coatings too is mm -hmm. if you're gonna um, do any machine polishing to your vehicle, it's yeah. gonna remove it too. You still want to use this afterwards, something like this to clean off any of the polishing or any agents that are left behind. But that'll that'll take off a coating for you. 
<laughs> yes, exactly. That's yeah. a good point. I I almost forgot to mention yeah. that. But we're not going to do that today. We're just going to show the basic thing that we do. Yeah, we're so. going to show this. Strip in the test panel. Yeah. All right, let's go. As you can see now, the water is sheeting. Yeah, There's uh, no protection, no product protection on here. The final step is we'll dry it. Dry it up. And then wipe it down with, uh, what is it, 50-50 isopropyl alcohol? Yeah, that's the 70%. 70%. You can use whichever you uh, We do a final wipe down, and then it's the hood is now ready. So that's our process for getting these these panels ready for new product reviews, new product verses. Right, anything we're trying to do. You wanna be, keeps it as balanced and fair as possible, right? Yeah, again, we're not signed, we're not scientific about it, but yeah. we're, we try to at least start with uh, equal equal footing for the products if we compare. I'm sure there's hundreds of different ways to do this. It's just what we chose, right? Okay. But we Definitely. just thought we would show you the process. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Yeah, appreciate it, guys. Hopefully that helps you guys out if you're trying to do anything like this. And uh, until next time.